If you're in any types of sales, why is confidence king or queen and how does it help you? I want to share with you, this is a super important question. I'm Scott Silva Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento for HVAC Technicians Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, whether or not you are in heating and air, sales or a technician, this video is still going to apply. Now, I've had the honor and privilege of working with a ton of technicians and a ton of salespeople. And I've been on a boatload of ride-alongs. It was part of my role and responsibility as a corporate trainer for 10 years. So as you can imagine, I worked with a lot of people. You as an individual can have the perfect message. You can practice it. You can have the conversations. You could be proficient at it. You can have the ability to have that conversations multiple times, but magic happens when you're confident. And I want to tell you a story that has ramifications so please let me explain it. So if you've ever heard the term con man, it's short for confidence man. There was a con man in San Francisco that would repeatedly sell people parts of the Golden Gate Bridge and he told people that he owned it. Because he had so much confidence, they believed him. Now, here's a caveat. Please do the right thing for your buyer. Please do the right thing for your client. Don't take, hey, Scott said, Confidence, come man, we should combine those things and do the wrong thing. No, I'm giving you an illustration. I want you to understand how important this is and how this concept works, okay? So if you work for a good company, that should give you confidence. If you use good parts, that should give you confidence. If you've had fantastic training, that should give you confidence. If you're good at what you do, that should give you confidence. We're gonna look at this like a big giant mathematical puzzle and put all these things together. Sometimes. People struggle and they forget, I work for a good company. There should be confidence that comes from that. I use good parts and pieces. There should be confidence that comes from that. I have had the best training. There should be confidence that comes from that. But sometimes when we get objections, when we have concerns, when we have personal problems, it starts messing with our confidence, including me. This is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods that are not on the YouTube channel and not in the Facebook group. So confidence is important. I want to break down like the four main areas that you're going to find it. So first, let's talk a little bit about body language, okay? When somebody's confident and you see them in a crowd and they're walking in a crowd, you're like, woo, something's going on with that guy or that girl and I want to know what it is. So this happens from smooth movements. They're not jerky. They're not erratic. It comes from a glide when they walk. And I want you to take your chin and put it way up in the air. Yeah, that's arrogance. Not, not like that. Just slightly elevate your chin. Just slightly elevate and just take a deep breath in and take a deep and put a deep breath out. Doing that shows that you have some confidence. Okay, so we got body language. So it's deliberate, not jerky, very calm, very calm. Then we got voice, which is going to consist of vocal, pitch, and tone. So how are you having the conversation? What are you talking about? Is it rushed? Is it matched to the person that you're having the conversation with? Are you able to go back and forth? Is there a pause in between the conversation? Are you smiling? Are you playful? Are you having fun where appropriate? So those are two things. Three, when people are confident, they know their place. And so somebody gives them an objection and it's not that big of a deal. The person that is not a real person that I look at when I think of objections is Tony Stark. Like what would Tony Stark do? Yep. The guy from the Avengers, because the guy was borderline psychopathic, but had a lot of confidence and like really didn't care. He's like, no, we're going to do it anyway. Like in the first Iron Man at the very end of the movie, he's in the middle of the movie. I'm sorry. He's like, hey, what do you think dad would have wanted? Like he's eating a cheeseburger just before they announce the whole Iron Man thing. And before he goes and flies and does this thing, you can model the people around you that you see your company. You're like, Scott, I don't really like that Tony Stark guy. I don't really like Iron Man. I can't believe you're making a reference to a movie when you're talking to me about confidence. Borrow the traits of the people that are around you. Now, fourth, there's a magic that happens in number four. Number four is make the recommendation. And there's been times where I've been with salespeople. There's been times where I've been with, with salespeople and they're like, I don't really want to have to tell them what needs to be done because I'm scared they're going to be mad at me. Well, a confident person is going to say, I have recommendations to make and you may not like them. You, you can come out and say that. That's okay. I've said it multiple times. I've met with business owners and said, I know how to solve the problems you're having in your business. I'm going to make some recommendations. You're probably not going to like them. 
and it prepares the person for the conversation. So somebody who is confident has the conversations that need to be had. So we've got body language, vocal pitch and tone. You got the ability to just deal with objections and then four, have the conversations that need to be had. There you go. You got this. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I send out a video. You'll get an update that says HVACTechSecrets.com, Technician Sales Secrets. Send out a video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon.